guys, it's me, Kendra, and today I'm going to be doing, um, I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers do it, and it's got a canvas, got paint brushes, got palettes, and I got paint now. I am going to be watching a Bob Ross painting um, thing, what are they called? I don't know. Anyway, I want to watch one of his videos and he, it's called Island of the Wilderness and he's basically going to be teaching me how to paint. Now, I don't think I've ever done an art class. I might have in school that like, one that I have to, like, you know, the ones that you have to go to, probably one of those, but other than that, I just don't draw, you know, I'm not very talented at drawing we're not very talented at anything but especially drawing what the hell is this these like stencils you don't know what they are not me now i'm not going to put the paint in the palette thing because i don't know which colors i'm using and there's only six and i have seven paints and i don't want to like put some in there unless you know i'm actually like using them now these are probably the shittest brushes ever because they're four bucks for like 15 of them. Why are these such pain to friggin open? <laughs> Look how long that is like. These are really thin brushes, just thought I'd point that out. Got my canvas. Okay, and I'm ready. So we're going to. Watch it. How? How old is this video? Hello, I'm Bob Ross, and I'd like to welcome you to the 29th Joy of Painting series. If this is your first time with us, allow me to extend a personal invitation for you to get your brushes and, and your paints and paint along with us each show. And if you've been with us before, please allow me to thank you for inviting us back for another series of painting shows. We'll use about a dozen colors of some unorthodox brushes, and each show, I'll show you how to put some of nature and mask oh, on your canvas. Oh, I only have six paint colors. So I tell you what, let's get started. Today we'll have run all the colors across the screen right there that you need to paint along with us. While they're doing that, let me tell you what I've got going up here. Today I'm using an 18 by 24 inch double prime pre stained canvas, but you use whatever size you'd like. And I've just covered the entire canvas with a very thin coat of liquid white. The liquid white is designed just to make the... Do I have white? I have cream. We're going to use cream. This brush is very stuck together. Was I meant to put them in water? Yeah, well. I know, we're going to use it. I'm so confused with what I'm meant to be doing. I think he just wants it to be wet, so I'm kind of just going to paint. This brush is like, there's literally brushes on the painting, if you can see. It's actually come off. Maybe I should have spent more than three bucks, four bucks actually, on a packet of these. Is this like right? Free makeup brushes, so I'm gonna use those. So I got the, the 
canvas wet. Oh, kind of. Make it slick. It allows us to actually blend color right here on the canvas. Makes oh. your whole painting laugh. I don't think easier. it will help so me clean. Let's get started. Now today we just do a very simple little scene that I hope you'll enjoy. Let's start with a little two-inch brush and a touch of the alizarin crimson. And we just load a little bit right into the bristles. So red. Right. Out. Oh, yeah, the bristles firmly to assure a nice even distribution of paint all the way through the bristles. And let's go right up here. And we'll take this old brush and just make a little X's, little crisscross strokes. We'll just very quickly drop it. Isn't that you a little bit more part in the sky here. Uh -huh. Maybe we'll have a little pink in the sky. I sort of like that. And in our world, we can do anything that we want to do here. Any old thing. There. Doesn't take too long when you're using a brush that's two inches wide. Oh, oh there are no. What the brush. difference is, but I don't know. Right in two, right in two. Little phthalo blue. I like phthalo blue. It's a very Wait, warm blue. Wait, I haven't done the red finish, mate. Slow down. Once again, just tap a little color into it. And let's go back up here. And still using a little crisscross strokes. Okay, we're doing X's. it on the top. Okay. It's all they are, little X's. We'll just apply a little bit of the phthalo blue. Why is his lighter? Like so. Then we'll come back after we clean the brush and blend that together. Now well, my box isn't getting many, clean, many buddy. It's stronger than this little pink area. It'll just eat it up, so be careful. Be it's not careful. pink, it's red. All the way. Well, if you want to paint, you should probably put pink. A little cloud. All you do is just sort of tap. A little stringy cloud just lives right there in the brush. And that easy. We'll blend him out and have a little stringer cloud. Let's see. Oh, we have that on. Hmm? Let's have some water in this painting. I love water, and it's very easy to paint in this style. Hang still on. Still water. Hang on. It's yeah. always level. And I think today we'll have still water. So pull from the outside in. Outside in. Huh? Something about like so. Oh, uh, low. Well, doing right. crisscrosses. Well, I have a little brush going. I want to darken the corners. A little bit. I'm gonna take a little Prussian blue and just add in the corners here and there. He has two right blues. There. And we'll go over to the other side and add a little more and then down to the bottom. Hey, what? Since these are oil paints, we're washing our brushes with odorless paint thinner. Shake off the excess <laughs> and just beat the double out. That's really the most fun part of it. I don't even get what he said. But now he's covered that up, so I need to cover that up. Man, he goes too quick. Now, with a clean brush, <laughs> it's relatively dry from just beating it. We'll start in the light area, which is the pink, and we'll blend it all together. Okay, that's where this one comes so into. About like so. That's all there is to it. Okay, and down here, we'll just do the same thing. There. But it's that easy. That easy. What's so fantastic about this? Anybody, anybody. Oh. So now he's mixing colors. Okay, white and blue. I don't have white. Cream it is. One. Just take the corner of the brush and just pull down. Something about like so. Straight down. Straight Why down. does it still look the same like color? Distant trees. A bit far back in the distance. A little more color. Did he just say trees? There you go. I don't know. Right there. In your world, you create any illusion that We'll add a little more blue, but we make it a little darker. Add a little bit of Prussian blue to it, make it a little darker, but the same thing. Oh, you check out that mess. And we'll come back. Let's put another little layer in here. Oh, mate, there's another Just layer. Touching and pulling downward. Okay. There. And we don't know where that goes. It doesn't matter at this point. Oh, was I meant to make and like waves in it? Maybe we'll tap this. I want to create mist again. Are you on the mist again? Separation. Okay. It's caused because of the difference in color, difference in value. And that misty area turns out to be your very best friend. Take care of it. Treasure it. There. Okay. Let's have some more fun. Let's see. Let's take some black, some Prussian blue, and a little phthalo blue. It doesn't matter. We just throw it on there. Crimson too. What the heck? Be brave. Be brave. Oh, it's a little sap green in there too. It's getting close enough. We should begin seeing some color. A little bit of white. Don't want it totally dark yet. There. Perfect. Okay, let me wipe the old knife off. What color is that meant to be? Let's get this mm, fan brush. We'll use a fan brush. It'll be full of color. Both sides. Both sides. Okay, I'm gonna. Yeah, let's go. I don't know what that looks like, but I'm gonna go with green.
hang on. I got black. I have blue and yellow, so I'm good for green. Okay. Yellow. Boom. I'm just gonna show you how much yellow just came out of that bottle just then. It just came out of that bottle. Um, that wasn't meant to. Okay, um, yellow, blue, yellow, blue. Lucky I went to school and know these two colors mix, mix green. Well, kind of. I made McCarthy green. trees back in here now these are a little closer you're seeing a little more detail a little more distinct there and we just drop them in we don't know where they go wherever you want that's exactly exactly where they should live exactly. don't put too much detail in here it's too far away you're not going to see a lot of detail mm -hmm. you see detail it's very close to it. things are far away you make out form shape basic color that's all to save the detail to the foreground the lack of detail helps also create How big is freaking canvas depth in your painting it's very very important very important okay i'm gonna tap a little bit that. that'll help create that illusion of mist down there too it's back with the mist hang on i'm gonna get the cream How did he do that? Now here's something that's funny. Take a little, I just use a little white. If you want to create another plane in your painting, take a little white and lift upward. How much is bloody white? Mate, you've got cream. It's like a whole different plane and the white will end up looking like little trunks in those trees. There, that's easy. Let's put a little water line. For that, we'll use a liquid white. Pull it out very flat, as flat as you can get it. Cut across, okay? Huh? And we can go right up in here. Hang on, go and get my cream. And then the time right here. And from that, you can paint some fantastic little scenes. Don't worry about it. You don't always have to have a perfect vision in your mind of what it is you're going to paint. Imagination is it's, it's like any other muscle in your body or like a muscle in your body. The more you practice, the better it becomes. Let's have, let's have a little evergreen tree. Leela is right there. Just make a line, take the corner of the brush, make a touch. Make another one. And just sort of work from the center out. There it goes. It's easier to do it fast than it is slow, though. Here they come. Just sort of back and forth. Not gonna Maybe lie. That's a pretty time. good tree. It was like making Z's. The letter Z. She called them Z trees. So I guess that's as good of an analogy as any. From the center out. The center of the tree should be the thickest, darkest, strongest part of the tree. Because you have leaves on the back, you have a trunk in the middle, and you have leaves on this side. I have one more in there. Okay. And he's making more than one tree. Okay, hang on. A family of trees. You know, if you've painted with me before, I think everybody should have a friend. Even a tree. Even a tree needs a friend. Now, if you want to reflect those, just pop in some general indications of where they are. <laughs> big deal because we don't make mistakes here we have happy accidents <laughs> very quickly you learn that looks like you're reflecting you. it has that color we made the tree out of it and i go through cad yellow and a little yellow ochre and oh hang on green. So it's got to be a very greeny yellow does that make sense so maybe like a little bit of blue mm -hmm. okay it's not that green but sure Is that it? Are we finished? Right, we gotta figure out something to do on the other side now. Let's have some fun. Let's have There's some a whole fun. other side of the canvas. You know, you've with me before. I like Remember, hang on, he's doing the tree trunk. Just want some indications. I want to put some happy little leaves in there. So huh? There's blue in it. Most of them won't show. We'll go right into that Get a little sap green. Green again. Yellow. The yellowy greeny that turned out quite. Give a little push. 
show it, but you can see that it will. Yeah, it's got in here. But Why does mine look blotchy? Just the corner, think about shape, form. It just the, totally looks like a tree. You are the creator of this piece of canvas. You can do anything. You can move it. Hey, could have just said draw a tree. Let's get crazy. You know me. If you've paid with me before, I like big trees. And we have one. God, we're making tree. another tree. Right there. There he comes. We should have done this with a two inch brush. It'd been a lot faster. There we go. This Just is such a skinny tree. Wherever you think it should be. Yeah. The base of the tree should be darker. Than how the, the hell does his look like that? Big shadow areas underneath. Yeah, they become part of the paint. I think I kind of just gave up on his and I'm just making my own. Why aren't some of the trees? And then the other trees that's appeared at the back. Now I got paint all over my hands. I've got the red. I think I think I did pretty well. I think I think a solid three. I've never been good at art, and this is why I don't do it. Well, now I know not to copy um, his paintings because I'm really bad at it, and I think I'm just never gonna paint again because I can't paint. Or draw. Nothing artistic. So I give up. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed because my painting looks sexy. I think it could be put up, kind of looks like cucumbers. Or like cactuses. I can say the cactuses. Just add some stuff. Maybe a bit of green that I didn't have. But yeah, that is just horrid bloody hell anyway i hope you guys enjoy give it a thumbs up subscribe to me if you haven't already and if you want me to react to any other videos just comment on below and i'll check them out but yeah i'll see you guys next video bye